And from the national headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital, hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. Well, tonight I want to begin by letting you hear from somebody long admired as a, a truth teller. We really like truth tellers here on this show. People like Ron Paul, who you're going to be hearing from in just a little bit. People like George Galloway, who's uh, going to join us for a lesson called What Americans Need to Know About Brexit. But the truth teller that I'm referring to in this first segment is uh, Colonel Larry Wilkerson. Remember him? So Wilkerson was part of the Bush and Cheney team that essentially lied America into a war with Iraq, which we're still paying for. Wilkerson knew back then that we were being fed lies and exaggerations, and he protested, and he did everything to try and stop it, but he failed. Now he's sounding another warning. Wilkerson is convinced that the same people in the same ways are now ramping up for another war, a war with Iran. Here he is just recently interviewed on a website that's called Now This. One of the things that disturbs me most about this is that the same tactics are being used as were used in 2002 and early 2003 with regard to Iraq. The same people, the same tactics, the same litany, the same strategy, the same everything. And yet there seems to be, uh, as Gore Vidal called the American people, uh, we are the United States of amnesia. There seems to be no reasonable attitude out there about this that, hey, we've seen this before. We do not need to do this again. We've seen this before. We do not need to do this again. Tell the media that. Wilkerson knows exactly who those people were who proliferated the BS, really, about the Iraq war, and then, in many cases, got extremely rich or extremely powerful as a result of what they did. He worked with them, and now he's watching them on television every single day on MSNBC and on Fox and on CNN and on CBS and on ABC, et cetera, and it bothers him, and it bothers Ron Paul, and it should probably bother all of us. Our media is now seemingly controlled by the very people that our media is supposed to protect us from, right? Big, powerful government types. How'd that happen? And what's it going to lead to? This is what we're going to be looking into, and these are the questions that we ask in the news with Rick Sanchez, where we do believe it truly is time to do real news again. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.